Hello everybody, today we're going to look uh, install the Outlook app on your iPhone. So we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the App Store on your iPhone and do a search for Outlook. And you're going to find the Microsoft Outlook app by the Microsoft Corporation. I'm going to go ahead and click on the little cloud to download it. Uh, I have the cloud icon since I've previously downloaded the Outlook app on my phone. So you're going to see a little square that says get. Go ahead and tap on that on your phone to download it. It'll take a couple of seconds to download. And when, then once it's finished downloading, you'll see a little square that says open application. You'll go ahead and tap on that. It'll open the application for you. Just follow the steps. We'll click on get started. Allow Outlook to notify me of any emails and calendar events. We'll hit allow. And as you can see, it found my account since I've previously had it on my iPhone. I'm going to go ahead and skip this and use another account to walk you through the steps. So what we're going to do here for this account, you're going to use your regular credentials to sign into your computer. So it's going to be your first name dot last name at OUHSD dot K 12 dot CA dot US. Okay. So again, it's your first dot last name at OUHSD dot K 12 dot CA dot US. We're going to go ahead add account. This is going to send you over to our portal. We're going to check off employee here. The emails been transferred over from when we filled in here. We're going to go ahead and type in our password. Then we'll hit on go. It's going to find our account, verify it, and then it'll set up your email and your calendar. It'll keep them all in sync. It's going to ask you if you'd like to add another account. We'll hit on maybe later. It's going to just follow through the steps here. It just kind of covers the features for the application. And we'll click next, next, next. And here we go. So you'll see your inbox here of all your emails since this is a, a test account that we use for our videos and our tutorials. Um, there are no emails in this, but as you can see at the bottom of the application, you have your mail. You have your calendars, so you can see a calendar of, of events uh, that are coming up. Um, at the top right corner, you'll see a little icon. Then you can select, you want an agenda view, you want to see the day, you want to see a three-day calendar, and you can, you know, scroll to your right to see other days as well. And, you know, you could scroll down as well to see the different times of the day. Okay, so next you have files. Here you'll you'll see any files that are on your OneDrive or your Office 365 accounts. Uh, and you can also add other storage accounts such as Google Drive or Dropbox or Box account to this. That way you have access to all your documents. Next at the bottom, you'll see people. These are all the contacts that you keep in touch on a regular basis. Uh, again, if you want to search for a particular person in the directory, we'll use myself as an example. You'll hit on search directory. And then there will pull up anybody with the name uh, that you're looking for. In this case, I did a search for my name, and you'll see that my name's at the top. If you're going to click on my name, you'll get details, you know, um, you know, where do I exactly work for? I work for the district office, what department, the IT department. You'll get... Um, the, the person's email and phone and phone number as well. Okay, now we can go to the next step here is settings. Here you can add other accounts, um, storage accounts as well. Um, you can set your settings for your mail and for your calendar and uh, just any of your, you know, set the preferences how you like them for the Outlook. Okay, so that is Outlook. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact Help Desk at 805-385-4141. We're more to help you with any questions that you have on how to set it up or if you're having any issues. Okay, have a great day.